La, 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 Goodness, my goodness, this place is it's so quiet tonight, so quiet. What is the matter with everybody? You told us to be quiet, Dad. I know, I know, but you're overdoing it here. My, this place is like a football stadium at midnight. I, I, uh, <clears throat> want me to help you with that thing, Kitty? No, thank you, oh. Daddy, no. How about we're a little story? Want a little story? No, like we're the... just busy, young Oh, I see. No, thanks, no <clears throat> story. How about a little checkers, huh, son? I'm sorry, Dad, but I have to hand this in tomorrow. To report on the football game for the school paper. Oh, football. Oh, did I ever tell you? Did I ever tell you how I won my first football game? Huh? Dozens of times. You, oh, did I? Well, I'll tell you again, then. <laughs> you know, when I plunged across the goal line, you see, I was hit so hard that my nose guard flew clear over the goal post. Nose guard? Yeah, 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 yeah. And everybody thought that I'd made a touchdown and kicked the goal all at the same time. <laughs> they don't wear nose guards anymore. Yeah, I know that. I Look, just, Dad, uh, if you don't mind, I can't concentrate. I can't. Uh, um. right. <clears throat> all right. Um... A little canasta, Margaret, maybe? No, Joe, not right now. I'm busy. Mm -hmm. I have to have this to wear to school tomorrow. Oh, I see. Why couldn't you wear something else? I've worn everything else. Oh. Mind, uh, mind if I ask the Milligans over, Margaret? And, uh, maybe did somebody, you mind uh -uh. if I... Uh-uh. I wish you'd take those pins out of your mouth. You're liable to swallow them. Dear. Oh, Joe, uh, please, honey, I've got such a lot to do. Um... Couldn't you read or something? Gosh, I wish somebody'd call. Somebody would call. I'd... Charles, why don't you go and fix my breadboard and sticks? Yeah, anybody, even if it was Clyde Beatty and his flock of uh, elephants. Aha, manna from heaven. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, good evening, Mr. Ruggles. Very good to see you. Come on, Max, step lively, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> Let me be the first to congratulate you, Mr. Yes. Ruggles. You well, know I... when a man wins as big a prize as you've won, yeah, the news is bound to get out real fast. Uh, prize? Get one of the kiddies there on the Davenport, will you please? Yeah, would you mind telling me what it's all uh, about? Old timers of the essence, Mr. Ruggles. Yeah. Yes. Uh, after you get that, get one of the boys here at the desk, will you please, Max? Yeah, uh, the story's got to make the morning edition. See? Yeah, but what story? What prize are you talking about, Mr. Uh, uh Ladies, would you mind in the living room, please? Oh, uh... Right in the living room. Oh, oh that's your Charles, what's going on here? I don't know, this man can be... Who are you? Uh, Melcher's the name, honey. Mr. Ruggles, do you mind sitting right here in the chair, please? Yeah, but I don't uh, think right I in the chair. Yes. Well, I don't... Uh, Thank I you don't quite understand what And you, uh, uh, lady, would you mind standing behind yeah, him over my, here? Uh, that young lady, what? you that come right around here, young lady, yes. and stand behind this. That's my daughter, Mr. Boy, come on over here and stand here. That's my son, You children, get one on each arm of the chair, will you please? This is Donna, Donald. Hello, Donna. Now, all right, Max, get ready. All right, shoot him. That's fine, fine, and that's all. Listen, don't forget to get that in the uh, super fast as you can. Fine. And thank you very, very much. Yeah, Thanks well, a lot. Thank you. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Would you mind telling me for the last time what is this all about? What are you doing? Are uh, you... Uh, I'll be back, Mr. Ruggles. Huh? Say, you must have been born under a lucky star. You're a lucky man, Mr. Ruggles. <laughs> Charles, what have you been up to? What have I been up to? Well, what have you been up to? Nothing with me. What have you been up to? My, have you been uh, buying tickets on a raffle or something? Well, only the, the church raffle for a Thanksgiving turkey, but, but somebody else has already won that. Oh, oh, oh. Well, did you buy an Irish sweepstakes ticket, Dad? Who, me? Oh, Bob, no, you know I never gamble. What do you think of that? <laughs> well, honey. Do you suppose that it yeah, could what? be? What, 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 what? Oh, no. Couldn't be that. No. Uh -huh. Maybe it's a... What? 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 No, it couldn't be that. Yeah. No, well, it could be that. Uh -huh. Well, it's beyond me. Yeah. Well, if we won someone, something, someone should let us in on it. Yeah, she can oh, show well, you. Yeah. Come on, Sharon. Let's finish working on your dress. Probably some guy with a loose screw or something. I don't know. Anyway, Daddy, what? I sure did get a good picture taken. You did, huh? Sure, <laughs> but 
I bet I wasn't smiling. You uh, Well, and the fella said he'd be back, so I guess all we can do is just wave, isn't Maybe that right? Maybe the next picture he okay, takes. Okay, well, I'll go. Oh, oh, there he is now. That's the fella now. <laughs> Yes, yes. Ruggles? Yeah. Uh, Finnegan, uh, step outside for a moment, pal. Huh? A uh, uh, confidential. Oh, confidential? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is it, Mr. Finnegan? Just heard about your good fortune, amigo. Uh, uh, oh, well, then perhaps you can tell me. You're what? riding the bang tails high, friend. Uh, I, <laughs> well, I don't quite know what you're talking uh, about. Now's the time to press your luck. Oh, yeah? yeah? Well, now, you better start talking sense or I won't stay out here. Uh, got a filly in the six at Santa Anita, amigo. Uh, I'll double you five grand for you. Five grand? A billion? Oh, you want me to bet on a horse race? <laughs> <laughs> you catch on quick, amigo. Oh, no. <laughs> well, of course, I think horse racing is a good, clean sport. You uh, know. You'd be surprised how many it's clean. Yeah. Uh, but with me, friend, you can't lose. No? Yeah, no, well, no, don't tell me that you've never lost on a horse. Uh, only once. Yeah. He was uh, overdressed. Uh, overdressed? Uh, too many people had their shirts on him. Oh, I yeah, I have. <laughs> very good, very good. Well, but with this nag, it's in the bag. Yeah, well, what, what do you, how, do you, how can you be sure? How do you know? Well, his mother was frightened by a church steeple. Oh, church steeple? What's yeah, that got to do pointed with? pointed nose, no wind resistance. Oh, the, uh, <clears throat> I think you're just a little off the beam, so... And uh, really, besides, I never, uh, I never gamble. Uh, I do you want to bet? Yeah, well, sure, I'll bet you I never got. <clears throat> well, no, no, I told you I never gambled, that's all. And, <laughs> and I think you better run along. Well, I think you're passing up a sure thing. No, here. no, no, I think you better beat it because I'm not interested. Now, go on, scram now. Well, well right. uh, here's what the gentleman it. said. Go on, buddy, beat it, beat it. Beat what do you mean, beat it? Beat it, beat it scram, oh. on your way there. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, amigo. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Snodgrass. Snodgrass is oh, the name. Uh, uh, may I step inside, Mr. Ruggles? Yes, why, sure. Hey, sure, come right in. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, imagine a fellow like that barging in on a man's privacy, you know? Uh, are you all alone here, Ruggles? Well, I will say that you plain clothes men are right on the job. Yes, sir. <laughs> who's that? Who's, uh, who's that? Oh, that, that's my son. A uh, writer? Uh, yeah, well, of sorts, yes. Uh, take shorthand? Oh, uh, no, no. He's just writing something for the high school paper, oh. that's all. <laughs> You know, fellas like that Finnegan, they should be put behind the bars, you know. A man like that. Where'd you go? Where are you? Where? Where? where what are you doing? Oh, no, you won't find me hiding anybody in there, Lieutenant. No, no. Charles, yeah? who was that at the door? Mm. Uh, excuse me. Oh, no, this is my wife and my daughter. This is uh, uh, Captain uh, Snodgrass of the police department. Police? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, why are you calling on us, Captain? Uh, well, he... Now, what kind of a machine do you call that? No, no, that's not a machine. That's just a little a tinker toy, you know. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't be too sure. Oh, now, wait a minute, please, uh, Commissioner. You know, I appreciate your, you know, taking that uh, character out of here for me, but I... I Listen, you... Ruggles, when you hear what I came down to tell you, hmm? you'll realize why I had to be so careful about it. Yeah, but I think you're overdoing it. Well, now, if I... I, I... Oh. What is it? What? What, what? What is it? Would you put something on your mind? What is it? That's not what... If one word of my invention yeah. got out, we'd have millions of people wait down Wait a minute, here. wait a minute. What do you mean, invention? You're not of the police department? Police! Ruggles, in me you see the greatest inventor of all time. Oh, oh well, then you're covering an awful lot of time, I got say. Now, don't be facetious, Ruggles. Mm. I came down here to cut you in on the greatest boon that has ever been bestowed upon mankind. Yeah, well, thank you. Well, I really am not interested, so... No, 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 just a minute. Well, I can multiply that $10,000 a hundredfold. 10,000? I haven't got 10,000. What's the matter with you guys? Oh, but Mr. Ruggles, you will have in about a half an hour. And it just so happens that $10,000 is what I need to put my invention on the market. Yeah, well, now, wait a minute. Even if I did have $10,000, you know, I wouldn't hand it out to any old crackpot that just came along. Now, Mendo, listen, the only pot I'm cracking is a pot of gold. Uh -huh. And I'm putting you in on the ground floor. I see. Well, how many times have I tell you I haven't any money to invest in crazy inventions? Mr. Like Ruggles, if I were to tell you that I could rid the world of ants, would that be a crazy invention? The rid the world of ants? Yes, ants. Well, I don't know. I suppose not. Oh, I, I now we're getting what somewhere. You, Look here. That? Look at this. What is that, a plan? Yeah, yeah. You see, ants live in anthills, right? Ants live in anthills. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's right. All right, that's now, right. An ant would be awful unhappy if he had to live in a valley, right? Well, uh, I suppose so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. now, look. We level off all the anthills. Uh-huh. What do you suppose would happen? 
Well, I don't know. Maybe they'd build um, other hills. Oh, yeah. splendid, splendid. You're a man of science, Mr. Ruggles, a oh, man of science. I yes. am, isn't yes. it? Now, look, yeah. now, look. If an ant had to spend all of his life building ant hills, yeah. what do you suppose would happen? Well, he wouldn't be able to search for food, would he? No, uh, well, uh, no, I suppose not. I yeah. suppose not. Then you tell me yes, what would yes. happen. What I happen? will. He wouldn't. So, the ant starts to death. The ants would what? Starve to death. The ants would starve to death. Yes. Starve oh, to death. Sure. oh, I see. Well, that's all very interesting, really, yeah. But what has this to do with your invention? What? Well, that's it. The, 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 the snodgrass ant hill leveler. That's what you call this? The yeah, snodgrass yeah. ant hill leveler. Right. You know, I believe you got something there. Oh, boy. I really do. Yeah, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tell you what you do, though. You come on outside with me, and we won't, uh, don't take it easy. I don't want my family to hear this, you see. And we'll talk this thing over. Come on. You can... Oh, gosh, what a screwball that guy is. Well, Dad, what do you expect on a nice, quiet, uneventful evening at home? <laughs> Charlie was spending a quiet but somewhat bored evening at home, wishing for something to happen. No sooner the wish than opportunity knocked three times. Hey, oh, oh no, wait, wait, me, no, no. Then first the fella comes into the door and he says, uh, he says, well, you have just won a prize, Mr. Ruggle. Yeah. Yeah, then the next guy that walks in the door, he says he was a racetrack out. He wants me to bet on a horse. He got a tip on a horse. You know one of those fellas. Yeah. And then to top it off, here comes a crazy inventor that's got some anthill leveler. And he, <laughs> yeah, that's what I, anthill leveler. He has, well, I couldn't explain it to you. But you don't know anything about it. You've never heard of the thing, any? Nobody, not us winning a prize or anything of the kind? You haven't, huh? Well, it's a funny thing. All right, Joe, thank you very much. Yeah, say hello to the family. Hey, goodbye. <laughs> Well, by golly, I've called everybody I know. Nobody seems to know a thing. Well, if we have won a prize, somebody's being mighty sneaky about it. Yeah, yes. Yeah, well, certainly. there must be a logical explanation. Well, sure there is, but uh, you take that racetrack fellow, you take that Mr. Inventor, he certainly seems sincere enough, you know. He wouldn't take all those pictures for nothing, would he? I wouldn't think so. I'm sure going to like being rich, Daddy. You are, Me huh? too. Oh, you're going to like being rich. Yeah, well, don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Chicken? Ah. You didn't say we could buy chickens with the money, did you, Daddy? <laughs> How many chickens can we buy for ten thousand dollars, Daddy? Well, I'll tell you. At the rate, uh, the prices they are today, I think you'll have just about one for one stew. That's mm -hmm. about what it would be. Father. What? I'll bet I know what it is. What? No, what, what? What do you think? Oh, come on. I'll just give. I'll bet it's one of those radio shows. You know, like, uh, surprise me. Surpri you mean you mean one of those uh, uh, programs where they, they call on the people and then they talk to them and and the people don't know? Well, well, what, what, what's going wait, on? Wait, wait, wait maybe, maybe we're on the air I'll right now. This is know. right. I'll bet we're wired for sound. Oh, oh no, I hope not. What a horrible thought. Now, now wait a minute. Now, this is my home. They're not going to wire anybody for but sound that, in here, you know. They hide microphones under the pictures. And, 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 yeah. Huh? And under furniture, they too, they anywhere. Go ahead and look. Go ahead and look. Could be. I don't know. It could be. A pot. Is that the phone, Margaret? You answer. Oh, right. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hello, Mother. How's Ernie? Oh, that's good. Oh, Mother, I'm so glad you called. The strangest things are going on around here. I... What? Where'd you hear that? But, Mother, we don't know a thing about it. Fifteen thousand dollars? Oh, Mother, it must be all a... Oh, no, indeed. You will not go out and buy me a new set of furniture. If we win that prize, I'm going to do that myself. Oh, but, Mother, there really isn't anything to it. I... Uh, no, 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 I'm sure it's just all... A, it's just all some kind of a hope. Well, all right, dear. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Bye. Charles. What is it, dear? Oh. What? Mother, mother, mother just called, and yes. she heard it too, but she said it's 15,000. 15,000? 15,000? Oh, oh, oh. Well, where did she hear it? Well, uh, somebody's, uh, uh, the, the sister in law of somebody's cousin phoned her. Well, by golly, I wish somebody would tell us then. No soap, Sal. I can't find a microphone in the place. Well, I couldn't find it. Can't find anything, Father. No, 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 no. 
I found a diamond back in the divan. Oh, well, That's then... mine. I lost one. All right, Charles, if it's give Charles. it to him. Yes, dear. Do you suppose... Do you suppose that we're on some kind of a radio program right now? Oh, hey, no. Why could... didn't I think of that? You think we might be? How about going into the den and turning it on? Well, I yes, don't yes, know. Yes, Go yes, ahead. But on. we can't. We said we didn't see a microphone in here. Go ahead. Take a look. I don't see anything. You know, I'm... Now, I, we don't care for anything. To... Oh. Mr. Ruggles? Uh, yeah. I'm Mr. Ash. You Mr. Ash? Well, how do you do, Mr. Ash? But if you're wanting me to invest in any money, of course... On the contrary, I... Mr. Ruggles. I'm here to save you money, time, and a possible jail sentence. Oh, oh, well, I've had a lot of screwy visitors here today, and I really don't want any more. Thank you very much. Mr. I'm with Internal Revenue. Well, I wouldn't care if you were with the... Internal Revenue? <clears throat> oh, well. <clears throat> well, then, I guess you'd... Uh, may I see your credential, please? Right here. Oh, well, then I guess perhaps you'd better come in, Mr. Cash. Mm. Uh, thank you, and the name is Ash. Oh, pardon me. <clears throat> uh, sit right down there, mister. <laughs> if, you're, uh, if you're anything like the other internal revenue men I've met, it's still Cash, however, your name. <laughs> <clears throat> well, what is the idea? This is not March the 15th, is it? Every day is March the 15th with us, Mr. Ruggles, <clears throat> <clears throat> when it's rumored that a man has won $20,000. Yeah. I've rumored that I've won $20,000? My gosh. That 5,000 certainly has been taking vitamins. <laughs> I called uh, merely to point out certain pitfalls which it would be good for you to avoid. Oh, oh well, then perhaps while you're pointing out, you might uh, point out to me where is that $20,000? It won't do any good to deny it, Mr. Ruggles. Our department has ways of knowing these things, right down to a penny. Oh, well, then if you know so much, who did I win the 20,000 bucks from? Well, let's, let's not quibble, Mr. Ruggles. Now, take the case of Norman Meeker, who recently won the uh, Start the Music jackpot. Yeah. Before we could get our hooks, our hands, on the legal tax, uh -huh. Mr. Meeker had bought so many things, paid so many bills, and loaned out so much money that the only thing he had left to spend was 10 years in the federal clink. Oh, well, that might have... Uh, 10 years in a clink? Just thought I'd warn you, Mr. Ruggles. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Clink. Uh, Mr. Ca uh, Claire Ash. Thought you'd like to know that we boys are on the job. Yes. Yeah. It's men like you, you know, who pay our salaries. Yeah, well, I always wondered where my taxes went. <laughs> and congratulations, sir. That's all right. I think that out of 28,000, we might be able to let you keep about a quarter of it. Yeah, good well, night. Uh, good, uh, good, uh, good night. That's nice. Twenty quarter. Is this on the radio, Dad? Charles, uh, were you talking to someone in here? Yeah, I was talking to the income tax man. That income is tax an man. income tax man was just here. Oh. My goodness. I don't know why they call it income when it all goes out. <laughs> How do you suppose? Father, what? Did you find out anything? No, I give up. I, I Oh Charles. gosh, there is somebody again. This is the dog gone. This house. Now, look here. Hello, Ruggles. I told you I'd be back. Now, come on in, boys. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, what do you mean on the air? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean on the air? Are you mean to say you're going to televise a program in here? In our home? Why, well, of course we are. What else? Oh, meet our sponsor, would you please? Uh, Mr. Lewis. Mr. Uh, Lewis? How do you do? How do you do, you lucky people? Now, listen to me, now, listen to me. You are not going to televise my home. Why, oh, look at the shape of Mr. Charles. I mean, after all the sewing on the Oh, table don't worry about that. Man. It won't show, Mrs. R. Oh, uh, Mr. Ruggles. Uh, <laughs> our sponsor is holding the check. Check? <laughs> a check? What is this? A check? For this? Uh, oh, my goodness, and then we really did win something, huh? Uh, yes, sir. You mean I did win a prize? Yes, sir, Mr. Well, Ruggles, you, you uh, hit the jackpot. I did hit the jackpot. Well, what do you know? Well, I don't know what I did for it, but I really don't know what to say. Well, uh, you don't have to say anything, my boy. I'll say it. Uh, we want a nice intimate family group, so would you mind, please, come out. Lady, would you get back to the chair there, please? Like the first time. And uh, you, young lady, beside her. That's right, you get over there. That's fine. Mr. Ruggles, you stand there. Uh, children, come over here, would you please? And just sit right down here. That's fine. Now, let's see if the angle is right here. Uh, oh, pardon me. Uh, yes, that's fine. Uh, Mr. Lewis, uh, would you mind standing right in the center back here, please? Well, we're uh, yeah, fine. Come right back there. Thanks. Now, this is all. Oh, this is fine. Just We're hold your all... heads up, boys. Uh, that is... Oh, that's real fine. Yeah. Oh, just a moment, please. Uh, yeah, that's right. That that's all right, fine. No? Yeah. That uh, looks better. Uh, we've got to get them a little uh, closer. Little, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, like oh well, all right. Well, you go ahead and take care of that. Now, 
Now, listen, everyone. Listen, everyone. Watch the stage manager now, and when he gives us the cue, remember, uh, we're on the air. Where, where is the stage? Quiet now, please. Quiet. Uh, we're on television, Margaret. I'm then about to I Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, you're the television audience. Uh, this is the tender, delicious raspberry show. And tonight, our telecast is coming to you direct from the home of our lucky, lucky winner, Mr. T.D. Ruggles. T.D.? Uh, say hello to the audience, would you please, Mr. Ruggles? Uh, yeah, but I, I, uh, I have... Say hello, please. Uh, yeah, but you... Uh, uh, Hello. I uh, would like to have you meet now the gentleman who has made this momentous occasion possible, our sponsor, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, one and all. <laughs> Mr. Lewis, who gives you those tender, delicious raspberries. And remember, folks, don't forget to ask for tender, delicious raspberries, not raspberries, because... Tender delicious raspberries are mighty good. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kitty. Thank you. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? Kitty, 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 And now, in just one moment, yeah. Mr. Lewis is going to present Mr. Ruggles <laughs> with one year's supply of raspberries and one thousand dollars in cash. One thousand. One thousand. Yes. One thousand. One thousand dollars. Well, I uh, one thousand dollars because Mr. Ruggles was lucky enough to have a name that had the same initials. As, as our product, that is tender, delicious raspberries. T.D. Ruggles. Uh, here you are, Mr. Ruggles. Uh, uh, would you mind telling us what the T means in your name? Uh, well, I think there's something wrong here because my, my first initial is uh, not T. Oh, what? No, no, it's my, my first name is oh. Charlie. Oh. Charlie oh. Raspberry. Uh, Charlie uh, Ruggles. Uh, uh, Mr. Melcher, oh, what is the meaning of this? Uh, I, 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 there, there's some, some mistake, no doubt. I, uh, uh, didn't you check that address? Well, I, yeah, well, yeah, I... Uh, oh, oh, please, uh, pardon me just a moment, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the television audience, uh, due to circumstances beyond our control, the rest of our program will come from our studios. <laughs> oh, get that stuff out of here, boys. Come on, now, get it out. Quick, uh, hurry up. And uh, get Mr. Melcher, you're fired. Uh, 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 and so is the victim, Sputton. Fulton and Bleach Advertising Agency. Oh. oh, Mr. Ruggles, how could you do this to me? Yeah, well, wait, how could you do this Mr. to me? Mr. Lewis, wait a minute, there must be an explanation. Dad, Dad, look, look. What, what, what? He, here it is, wait a minute. Oh, there, there, see? What? It says T.D. Ruggles. It's yes. the name under ours. The yeah. T is the name under R. Yeah. T.D. is the name under our they name. They copied the wrong address. Well, what do you know? Well, gosh. Gosh. <laughs> Gee whiz. You mind if I invite the Milligans over tonight? Everything's awful quiet around here. You know? Okay. That's the trouble with our modern life nowadays. The sedentary. Nothing exciting ever happens. <laughs> Thank you. 